ladies and gentlemen, I think I found an uh, actually great deep dish pizza. Join me here at Martinez, which is off the brown line at the Addison stop. And finally, finally, I found a great bites because I made a short video for to post on Facebook and TikTok uh, but I wanted to show you a live video mm, oh, it smells so amazing so let me show you for a quick 10 minute video of eating an actual this is what these dishes really about so look at this, so here we have the deep dish pizza. Half of it is what they call the Union Stockyard, which is a mix of pepperoni, sausage, and we have the Margarita pizza, which is, you know, classic tomato, mozzarella, and basil. And oh my god, I'm already biting into this because I filmed a short video, but this is Bartoli's. Highly recommend checking them out. Let me show you around the place. There's actually the Blues Brothers are right over there. Uh, we have a mural of the CTA as well, the Elb. And a lot of cool stuff. But this is genuinely amazing. So I'm so hyped. Okay, so without further ado, let's bite into it. I decided that I found a good deep dish. I was, I was scared that <laughs> there wasn't any good deep dish pizza around here because I tried two other places. I tried Lou Monaco. Both of them tasted frozen after thinking about it. I was lukewarm when it came to uh, Lou Monaco's on the live video and Giordano's was a short video. Um, I thought at first it was good, but then after thinking about it, I was like, I don't anything within me, but this one does. Mm. It's super meaty. This is a medium size. Since I got a specialty pie, it cost me thirty dollars, thirty-one dollars. That's just uh, seventeen dollars. So it's a very good deal. This is a huge. This is a, for like three people. Um, but that's the smallest size that they offer. I can definitely tell it's freshly made. It's jam-packed with a bunch of uh, meat. All the meat is awesome, especially having that kind of Chicago iconic Italian beef. And it's also, and also the sausage. It really makes it a sauce because the sauce is very important when it comes to the Chicago deep dish. You need a very good sauce that has a bite to it. The they, they tasted good, but it didn't spark anything uh, in terms of the sauce. But this one has a nice bite. Wow, let me show it to you. So beautiful sauce, well balanced pizza. Look how. Completely overwhelming, which is good. And this crust, this is a proper crust in my opinion. This one reminds me more of a shortbread cookie. Let's try it out. Let's try the crust on its own. So welcome everyone. Welcome Adam. Welcome uh, Ron. Um, welcome. Uh, Susie says, I hope to see this one. Joe, yes, welcome everyone. Does the deep dish can it, can it, this deep dish expect the second date? In All right, let's try the crust on its own. You need a, but here it is, the crust on its own. I was really disappointed with the crust from the other two places. They were too thin, and um, this one. Yeah, yeah. That was like, but then I went up to, I ended up walking all the way to Burbank, Burbank over there. Burbank, Burbank, Burbank. I was like, 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 I was
really good pie crust. So this pizza, as opposed to like pizza, and I have pizza from all around the world, but the crust itself actually tastes like a real legit pie crust. And it's really good because it has that kind of shortbread flavor to it. Um, as opposed to uh, Luminol season. It's hard to, harder to explain, but it goes for more of a layered taste to it. I like more of this kind of shortbread cookie taste. Okay. Let's try. Cool thing about this pizzeria is that you can do half and half. So let's try the margarita slice. Omar says, "Dude, you're still in Chicago? Indeed, I am. I got two more days of Chicago live videos." Susie says shortbread cookie. It, it's the texture, not so much the. It's not sweet, uh, but it has uh, the shortbread cookie texture. So here it is the cross section of the margarita slice. The other one was like a meat lover's. And this one is the margarita. So this one should be a little bit lighter. <laughs> and I don't have enough room on my plate. But I'll do my best. I'm gonna probably gonna take the rest of this to eat tomorrow. It does look really good. It took 30 minutes to cook, which is meaning that they did made it fresh. And the cheese is also really good quality cheese too. So let's try the margarita. It's very close to downtown area. You it only takes about. Took me only about 15 minutes to get here in total, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so it's very close to the downtown area uh, by train, and once you get off the train, you only have to walk about four or five minutes. So I would I would recommend it for the trip. It's not in the middle of uh, downtown like the other places, but yeah, this one way better. Cheers. Mm. Really good cheese that they're using. It's very watery. It has that mm, has that kind of nice watery uh, bite into it. Once you similar to Italian mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Uh, Veron uh, Veronica says, "Is the pizza so is, uh, is the pizza sauce making you base red, or is that sunburn?" Uh, it's making me red. <laughs> I'm slightly lactose intolerant. Slightly. It just has so much flavor to it. I think two slices is enough for one person. So come here with multiple people or come here ready to take it home. So feel free to ask me anything about Chicago. I'll stick around for about two minutes as I eat a little bit more Chicago. Uh, I'll do my best to answer about my experience of being in Chicago here for a week and a half already. McCarty says, this that is amazing. I can precariously taste it. Wendy says, looks so good. The pizza is making your face red. Yes, indeed it is. Adam says, I wish I can share the uh, What is the name of the pizza place? Bartoli's. Bartoli's. Almost like the guy who built uh, the Statue of Liberty. Um, then... Codis. I don't know, I don't know what Codis is. Uh, they do have the thin style as well. So they have what people call the real Chicago style. It's the super thin style that's cut up into squares. At the timeout market, uh, and they also sell it here. So if you don't want to eat a bunch of pizza, then you can try the, the thinner style. Welcome, Sergio de Buenos Aires. Yo espero un día a probar la pizza argentina. Yo vi que la pizza argentina es algo único. 
I can't wait to one day try Argentinian pizza, which I heard. I have some, how much is the deep dish? I spent 30, $31 on this, plus tip. What have you enjoyed too about Chicago thus far? I think the thing that has blown me most of the way about Chicago is the architecture. Downtown is truly... Today did a few videos and it's truly special. So, yeah, DS, great question. Does beer or wine go good with a deep dish? I would say it's a bit too much. Um, I would say just water here, so I had to do regular water, but yeah, just water I think is sufficient for a deep dish. I'm loving your Chicago getaway. I love Ch Chi Town. Uh, I'm so glad you do, Mo. That's awesome. Sergio, nice to see you here. Or New York. New York. New York is a more of a a pizza that you can have over and over again. This is hard to have over and over again. It's too much. But it's Now, Chicago Tavern style is good. New York does better smaller crust. Mo says, tell me you're not in architectural heaven. Oh, I am, yeah. Okay, everyone, so one more time, the pizza. Highly recommend Bartoli's. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a random live, a short live video. Uh, I finally found a good deep dish pizza. Now, I may attempt to eat one more slice after I finish. Or maybe I just bring the rest. <laughs> Tomorrow. Let me know in the comments, what would you do if you were dining solo and you had all this left over? Let me know, what would you do? Stay tuned, Thursday and Friday at 3 p.m. I will be teaming up with guests, so you'll be meeting some cool Chicagoans Thursday and then another Chicagoan on Friday. It's something, it's an aspect of Chicago that is interesting, but more people should know about it. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.